Hey everyone, so I did another Ask Ida um, thing post on my Instagram and I want to do one more. So you guys asked me some questions, some of them are in Danish, some of them are in English, but I am just going to translate them if um, they're in Danish so that everybody understands. So first I want to mention a great website where they have iPhone covers and the website is called iBoom.dk and I just wanted to mention it because I know I'm going to get questions about where my cover is from and so it's from iBoom and I really like this one. It has white roses and it's like this soft, not soft material, but it's like kind of smooth and I just really, really like this. It's just such a cute detailing and they have this one in many different colors. I think they have it in turquoise and pink and um, they just have all kinds of great deals on covers. I believe they have more covers for iPhone 5s because iPhone 5s are just more popular now, but mine is a 4, but you can totally get um, covers for your iPhone 4 on iBoom.tk and they have great deals, so you should check their website out. I also got this cover from iBoom and it's so cute. Um, they have little owls on there and you can also get this in another color. I don't know if it's pink, something like that. Um, it's just totally adorable and this is just like a like um, a smooth um, cover and it's just so cute. The third one that I got from iBoom was this one and it's more girly um, and pink than the other ones. It's just super cute. I like cheetah and it just looks like this. I just wanted to mention this great website and they have great deals on there so go check it out. First question is what is your favorite sport to play? And I would say that is soccer. I have been playing soccer for maybe three years or something. It's not a lot but I really like it. I don't play it anymore. There's like no team for me here. Um, which kind of sucks, um, but I love to play soccer. I love all kinds of ball sports. I, I'm i kind of a sporty girl. Another question is, do you want to move to USA? How has your exchange here impacted you as a person? So I think I would move back to USA for maybe, I don't know, two years or something. I wouldn't stay there and move there because I have my family here in Denmark. I know now I have a new family also in USA, but I would maybe move there for a couple of years. I don't know what I would do over there. Um, I think it would be, it would have to be if I had a job over there. Um, but I totally move there um, for um, a small period of time or two years or something. I think that um, my exchange year has made me more confident. It has made me try new things. Um, it's made me more outgoing. And also, you know, it's all kind of things with, like I cut my hair. I did all kinds of things that I usually wouldn't do, so I just, I don't know, I, I, I just developed in my personality and, and how I am around other people. Next question is, what is your favorite makeup brand from USA? Oh my gosh, that is so difficult. Um, if I have to mention a brand that um, is something they only have in USA, I'd have to say hard candy. I have not seen hard candy in Denmark. I have not seen it anywhere like around in Europe. Um, maybe th they do have hard candy somewhere, but hard candy is like awesome. That's where my concealer is from and this is the best concealer I've ever had and it's still, it lasts so long. Um, and I got this in America, of course. Um, so that would be my favorite brand. I don't think they have it in Denmark. I haven't seen it. If I had, I'd buy the whole collection, um, but that is my favorite heart candy. Why did you become a YouTuber and what is the most beautiful place you've been? Um, I became a YouTuber because I looked up to other YouTubers. Um, and I just thought that it was a lot of fun and I liked makeup, I liked doing my hair and I like to talk to other people and get to know other people and that's why I think that um, becoming a YouTuber was very me um, and I still love it. 
it's like my hobby with some benefits um, and I just really really like that the most beautiful place I've been oh that would probably be Greece um, I thought Greece was amazing um, I was there in 2008 or something like that it was absolutely gorgeous and the water and I was on this island called Tessas and it was just amazing I, I love Greece I think it's amazing and so gorgeous so yeah that's the be most beautiful place I've been what is your favorite movie my favorite movie of all time is PS I love you and I've seen it so many times so that I almost don't cry anymore but the first four or five times I watched it um, I cried my as out like I was so sad because it's a sad movie but you have to watch it it's amazing I love Pia's I love you it's just I, I love that movie it's about love and it's about um, getting like well after a loss and it just it's the perfect girly movie okay this is um, a question about um, do you miss your family in USA? Yes, I really, really miss my family, um, especially when I see any American things in the news or I associate something with America. Um, I Then I miss them a lot. Um, luckily, I do have contact with them. Actually, my host sister, we have contact a lot. Um, we Snapchat and we text each other and... I just love them to death and I want to go over there to um, visit them as soon as I can, as soon as I have the money and the time and yeah, so I hope I can go visit them as soon as possible, so yeah. Have you gotten a piercing in your nose? Yes I have, um, I can zoom in for you guys if you want to see it. Um, I got this pierced um, last Friday, so not two days ago, but um, last week of Friday, last Friday last week, okay, um, and it is not sore um, or whatever. Um, I have pretty dry skin around here because I've just been avoiding makeup in this area, or not like this whole area, but also just moisturizers or anything. I clean it um, several times a day and I just really love it. It has this ball um, that you can also put outside. You can like twist it but I just like having it like this and I really like it. Did it hurt? Um, yes a little bit but it wasn't like hurting like ah oh, it hurts. It was more like a pinch um, and then it was a little bit sore but it's fine now. So yeah I got a nose piercing. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's like a jewelry you're not going to take off, so I just really like this, and yeah. So that was all for my Ask Ida video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and go check iBoom out. It's an awesome website, um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and happy Easter, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!